Hey loves, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you're coming back, welcome back. Thank you for deciding to join me in yet another video. I appreciate you all so much. Subscribe, like, like, like. You know, turn on the bell notification so you're notified. <laughs> all that good stuff. But um, yes y'all, so in today's video, I will be discussing what I have learned at my internship and just some tips that you all could use um, kind of learn from my mistakes <laughs> or even things that work for me uh, because I've had so many internships from undergrad till now so I've gotten through them I've managed to work my way through it so I guess I can drop some tips for y'all um first thing first thing Get you a planner. <laughs> Get you a planner. Get you a planner. <laughs> um, a planner will most definitely save your life. Just because, like, even if you're not a super organized person, I think everybody should still have a planner. Just because it's something that you can go back to. Last semester, I kind of slept with using my planner. Um, one, I didn't have, like, clients, like, a lot of clients or anything like that it was more because it was my okay so it was my first semester in my actual field concentration so I was at a hospital so um, I'm interning at a hospital because I do want to do public health medical social work type of thing we'll see <laughs> but um that's the kind of area that I want to work with so it's super fast paced. Um, medical social work is super fast paced, um, especially if you're in a hospital. And it's, it can be hard to keep up with clients, especially if they're not necessarily yours. So a planner, just so you could write down times, like meetings, just so you could kind of stay ahead of the game a little bit, at least try. Uh, I know I'm going to be using one heavily because I'm going to have an actual caseload this semester. So I know for sure, for sure, that I'm going to be <laughs> utilizing that good planner because I have one for school, but I don't, I need I have a separate one for my internship. So yeah, that'll, your planner, please use your planner. Your planner will be your best friend. Your planner is like your Bible. Sorry, but it is like, you need it. You need it. You need it. So um, another thing, tip number two, please do not be afraid to ask questions. Ask questions. Like, you will be doing yourself a huge disservice if you don't engage within your field placement. Uh, if you are just sitting by, letting things happen, and not even asking questions, you're not really learning. Like you could be taking in what's happening, but you need to be asking questions. Like if there's an agency that you're unfamiliar with, ask questions about that. If there's um, more that you want to learn about a certain case, ask your supervisor about that. Your supervisor is there. Utilize them. Um, especially, listen, y'all, please ask questions. Just ask questions don't think that you're asking too many questions there's never too many questions when you're paying to go to school please like i'm serious <laughs> so um i know last semester i was asking a lot just because it was more of like the shadowing um phase so i was definitely asking a lot of questions just trying to get acclimated to the unit trying to figure out how everything works like how you deal with the client from beginning to end and every client is different we really call them patients in the hospital but for the sake of universal, I call the client. <laughs> but um, yeah, so every client is different. And the way you approach each client could be different. You never know. Um, of course, they're individual. So everything is individualized. Their treatment plan individualized to that specific client. So if you don't know anything, ask questions. It could never hurt. Like, if you're just... <sighs> I did that when I was undergrad. I did not ask questions. Well, not undergrad. I did that my first semester of grad school. I did not ask as many questions as I feel like I should have because it's just like I don't want to be a bother. I don't want to feel like I'm asking too many questions. 
But then somebody really to like, you're paying to be here. You're not getting paid to be here. You're paying to be here. Some people have luxury of getting an internship that, you know, gave them money or pay, like paid them to be there. Mine is not. Not last year, not this year, not undergrad, not ever did I ever get paid to be at an internship. And it kind of makes you appreciate the process just a little bit more when you're, I personally believe, when you're not getting paid. Because it's like, I did all of this, I did 24 hours a week, and did not get any money for this. I gave them 24 hours of my life, <laughs> okay? And that's like counting traffic going forward and back. <laughs> but anyway, y'all. Not to get off topic, but like ask questions, um, make sure you're really participating in your um, field place. So another one I would say I kind of touched on it in the last one, utilize your supervision hours. Um, make sure that you are meeting with your supervisor once a week. Please take advantage of that. That's also another time. Like if you don't want to ask questions as you go, write down questions. Make sure that you are, um, you know, paying attention, like pay close attention to what is happening. Just so if you don't want to be that person to ask questions in the moment, you can always come back and be like, hey, um, this had happened with this case. I have a question about it. And that's what supervision is for. It's for you to, you know, see how you're doing and see the progress that you're making or just have questions if you have them and kind of debrief because it's heavy. Stuff that goes on as a social worker, everything is heavy. I'm not going to just say at the hospital that I'm at. Everything is heavy. <laughs> if you are a social worker, I'm pretty sure you have at least one case where it's like, Ooh, like you had to like kind of take a step back and evaluate like is this really happening to this person like this is really sad how do I deal with this how do I kind of work through this um but I would definitely have a, um, a video on how to kind of work through dealing with your own emotions um when you're at your internship just because we're human there will be, not to like become super sidetracked, but there will be situations where you're like, oh, I don't know if I could work with this client. It will happen. In your social work career, it will happen, boo. It will happen. <laughs> so yeah. Um, so yeah, so with that, I would just say utilize those supervision hours. Make sure you're really on it like I know this semester I did use my supervision hours last month I mean last semester but at the same time I was asking questions as we were going just so I could figure out like okay it could be something really small but it has something to do with a case like if it comes up again so I'll know for the future so I'm like oh, okay I know what everybody's talking about like because <laughs> in the hospital it's so many different acronyms it's so many different it's a different process it's a different world honestly um so definitely, please, please use your um, supervision hours and don't be scared to, if you aren't comfortable with talking to your supervisor and if you're not utilizing those hours or if they make it feel like you um, shouldn't be using them, you need to talk to someone like your liaison, um, which is the person who kind of is the bridge between your internship and the um, your actual department, like your program. So definitely talk to your field liaison if you're not able to meet with your supervisor at least once a week because you deserve that. You're paying for it and that's what you should be getting. My personal experience with my internships, especially last semester, y'all, um, it was hard for me. I think that's another reason why I kind of decline with my YouTube and just to be personal just a little bit like I was not performing at Cecily's 100% best self. A lot of personal stuff going on last semester and my internship brought up a lot of things within myself and it was just like I was just emotional I was so emotional at my internship and I was starting to doubt myself I was like can I do this like am I set out to do this like is medical social work for me 
I was questioning myself a lot. Like, I was really like reevaluating some things. Like, am I even supposed to be a social worker? Am I a good social worker? It was so much pressure. And with that, it's like, you guys do not, we are learning. We are still in grad school. We are in a master's program. Just because we're about to master it just does not mean that we know everything. There is so much to learn about this field. There's so many things we don't know. Yes, we need to be competent at what we do and we need to be competent social workers. And last semester definitely taught me a lot about myself. Um, I've learned a lot. I went through a lot in one semester and I know what to not do going forward but if you have doubts like we're going to doubt ourselves sometime but please like check yourself just a little bit because if you're in grad school this is what you're supposed to be doing you got accepted into grad school you're capable of doing it you know and this is kind of me talking to myself okay because listen listen <laughs> I've been in the dumps lately, but I'm bringing myself out because God got me, okay? God got me. But yeah, y'all, like you're going to have those doubts, but don't allow those doubts to consume you. Like, be like, all right, I got this. Now, if there's something that you're questioning yourself about that your supervisor could like assist you with, that's where you guys need to have that relationship. Try to, please... Build rapport with your supervisors, like your um, field instructor, which is, I call her my supervisor, but there's a field instructor and then there's a supervisor. You're going to be with your field instructor basically all the time. Um, your supervisor is who oversees all the interns, all the, um, all the people, like the field instructors as well. So you can have a meeting with them and just say, hey, like, I'm you help me figure out how to navigate these feelings like granted they're not your social worker they're not your therapist but they are there for you so utilize every resource that you have um if you're overwhelmed in your internship and i'm talking to myself i'm talking to myself if you are overwhelmed again talk to someone your internships will make you realize how much therapy you need <laughs> listen your internships will definitely make you realize some things about yourself. But I already said that. <laughs> so with that being said, go to therapy. <laughs> Stop. Um, I will definitely have a video on how therapy has kind of helped me through the process. But yeah, so honestly, you guys, y'all got this. So those are just some tips that... I have kind of been using and things that I need to be doing moving forward. I mean, it's my last semester. <laughs> it's my last semester and I know that I'm going to be going in. I'm going to be doing bigger and better things this semester. I'm going to be giving my 100% self and Sometimes it's hard to give your 100% self, but just know that you are destined for this. You were made to do this. You are going to be the best social worker out there. So don't let nobody tell you that you're not going to be the best social worker. Don't let nobody try to deter you from your social work dreams because, boo, you were made for this. And with that being said, this is the end of the video. And again, thank you all for deciding to journey with me. I completely wholeheartedly appreciate you all um I really do just uh like comment and subscribe I will um be doing like a Q&A because people do have a lot of questions pertaining to the social work field and getting used to it so if you guys have any questions any questions post them in the comments below and I will do Q&A, even if it's about my particular program, my opinions, everything will be my opinions, not fact, all okay. I mean, some things will be facts, but um, I will be doing the Q&A, so please drop some questions down below that you have, and I will be doing them within the next week or so. <laughs> so yeah, um, love you all again. 
thank you thank you thank you thank you for deciding to journey with me and i will see you in my next one